made in Stockport. Pure 107.8 FM. the great divide How long can a man go on? Oh boy, Leroy Brown rode a thousand miles Turning into skin and bone Rivers running dry How long can a man go on? Oh boy, Leroy Brown Drunk as he could be it is spinning like a wheel, broken by degrees. How long can a man go on? Poor boy, Leroy Brown, falling to his knees, praying to the Lord above. Oh, won't you help 
me please How long can a man go
There's a fire coming over the plains Ground is cracked and wasted Crops are left to fail Thunder of the iron Trinning of the blade Burning wind will twist your soul Take you to the grave You better be Be gone. You better 
be moving when morning light has come. Morning light has come. Infusion on Stockport's Pure, and uh, yet again we're at the uh, the Barista Cafe Bar for the, the Stockport sessions, and <laughs> I'm uh, really pleased that I've got in front of me Mr. Spider Mike King. Hi, right, Mike. Hello there. Uh, hello everybody, and uh, hello uh, the listening world out there. I'm, uh, yeah, really pleased that you, you've come to to this uh, this session. I first uh, met you. I think it was uh, November last year. It was at the last night of the, the Black Lion in Salford. We he did a gig, and uh, I remember you, you, you seriously impressed me there. You blew me away. Well, thanks for that. And um, it, it was one of those nights, unfortunately, there'd been some great evenings there, musical evenings, and uh, for one reason or another, it was the, uh, the final fling, so to speak, yeah. and uh, I had some good fun there that night. It was just uh, acoustic guitars, and there was a few other guys on, and I seen yeah. you there, and uh, and we made yeah. our acquaintance from That's there it. on, really. Yeah, so then we, we sorted, out the, uh, sorted out the gig, which went, uh, I think, went well. You played really well on that one. Yeah, the barista uh, yeah. here in Stockport. And, and yeah. here we are. So, so there, so um, I've, um, I've, I've just come, I'm a bit tired at this time of uh, the afternoon. I've just finished doing uh, uh, the Martin Hanna documentary um, at uh, Gorillas in town, and there was a lot of musicians on there. Night, that that was a great night, and uh, 48 chairs and... Bits of Brocks and uh, all the all the old uh, it all kept crawled out of the woodwork, <laughs> the, 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 Brocks, including yeah. myself. Uh, yeah. you know. But it was a great night. A bit tiring, but uh, yeah. you know, because Martin was a really good 
who is a good mate of mine. I, I met Martin Hannett, producer extraordinaire for, with Joy Division. But I, I met Martin when we were both still school lads. Right. And uh, then we got in a gang together. And um, I, I realised he was he was um, very much into music uh, playing. And he played the bass, I played the guitar. I think that was probably about 1968 or something like that. And then um, we we started playing guitar. We got a bed set together and we were sharing the same bed yeah. and uh, <laughs> sharing the same can, kind of baked beans. And uh, <laughs> mine had a great record yeah. collection, so um, that was, uh, was every every hour of the day was yeah. we were just listening to records and we playing. Music and then we got a band together with um, local lad Paul Burgess right. of 10CC, yeah. uh, latterly. Um, but uh, Paul was a great uh, discovery for for me and Martin because I mean he was a, he's a good drummer now, but he, he, he's always been that good. Yeah. Paul, he was he was a great find for us, and uh, so that would be about '72. Uh, we started playing with Paul, and that was my first band, the Spider My King Band. So uh, the name came from uh, one of Martin's mates. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the, the nickname Spider. Oh, what's the reason behind the spider? <laughs> There's the reason behind the spider. Ah, <laughs> it's, um, I wasn't creepy necessarily. <laughs> and I've counted your legs, so it's not that either. <laughs> well, it, it was a bit actually. <laughs> I mean, right. I'm six foot two, yeah. and in those days, um, I mean, I'm a bit I'm follically challenged these days, as I might say. But in those days, I had mass of hair. Yeah. And uh, so I was tall and skinny. I was dressed in black, and um, black polo necks, black everything. And um, one of Martin's chums said, uh, "Yeah, you look like a spider. I'm gonna call you spider." And I, so then, it kind of like the nickname stuck, and, and that was it. And uh, and for various guises over the years, it definitely it's, works as a name anyway. He well, said, yeah. it was yeah, Spider Mike King to begin with, and it was Spider Jive and other. Yeah. Band with sort of Stockport uh, lads in it, and then it was Spider King, and there were various forms of Spider yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> over the years. You played with uh, with Nico as well, haven't you? I did play with yeah. Nico. I had the good fortune as well because she's a great stick, Nico. And the funny thing is that um, in the sixties, when we were experimenting, so to speak, yeah. with uh, recreational um, and the whatnot. Uh, the first record I ever listened to in that condition was uh, Nico and the Velvet Underground. Right. So I was already a massive fan <laughs> of her voice and that yeah. band. And then, lo and behold, about 1980, I got the call through saying uh, Nico wanted um, to meet me and uh, she'd, she'd heard this, that and the other and would I be the guitar player um, to do various gigs that were coming up and went all over Europe and America, which was a um, America was <laughs> America was a complete debacle. Um, they flew us over there on a one-way ticket, oh and uh, there was there was uh, they sent us over there on. Ju we arrived on July the fourth, which is their uh, Independence yeah, Day, yeah. as you know. And um, everybody was on holiday, so we were getting to gigs, and all the colleges were closed. We were getting to college gigs, and there was yeah. nobody there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gates were barred, so we were always losing money. And uh, halfway through that tour, which was a six-week tour, I believe, um, I had to go to the next gig with Nico because we didn't have enough money to send the whole, buy, get the petrol and send the whole band. So the band would have to stay behind, and then I go ahead and yeah. then blah blah. And it was a total mix-up that gig. But Nico was a great stick. I loved her to bits, and she could, uh, her whole world she carried with her in a handbag. Yeah. Well, a very large hole door, <laughs> really. And that was, I mean, she was, as it's been described, she was one of the last great bohemians. Yeah. But um, I, I loved Nico to bits. Excellent experience. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and now you, you, you signed to um, Distilled Records, is that right? Distilled Records, it's a little label in Scotland. How did that come about, being a Scots label? Um, I lived in Scotland in the late 80s, about 1989. I lived uh, up there, and I'd already 
uh, made a lot of friends up there through a family connection. And um, it's mainly the Dowling family right. of Yorkshire. And um, Steve Dowling and his brother Huey put together... Huey's got the record studio. It's, it's um, in, the, in the, an area called um, the Mackers, southwest of Scotland, in a town called Bladnock, where they make brilliant whiskey. Hence the name uh, of the... Uh, you know, Bladnock yeah. whiskey. And, uh, and uh, the distillery uh, is related to that. So um, I, I, one thing or another, I'd always played music up there for years, and then they decided to put this label together and I did some recording up there about two years ago and got a little CD out. That was the Blood that's, Sessions. The that's the Blood, that's River, the Blood sessions. River Sessions, yeah. 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 And, um, and so uh, that was, we just took the whole band in there and played it live. It was great. Again, I was privileged yeah. to have really, really brilliant musicians. I've always been so that lucky all, that, that way. So that was all played live? Oh, that, oh, all that CD. Yeah, yeah. We've had fiddle and pedal steel yeah. and... Uh, cajon drum and uh, another guitar player and bass, so it was, it was fab fantastic and it's a, it's it's a brilliant location. It's by the river that runs through it and uh, and we had uh, we had a, it was a, what I thought was a, a real successful session up yeah, there. And I'm still sorry we distilled, yeah. but so far we've not got immediate plans for anything to be released. Right. Although... Um, Has things been recorded or in the process of being recorded? Or not at the go? moment. Right, OK. But I have this yeah. other um, project... OK. ..which is kind of on the back burner, it was bubbling yeah. up nicely. Well, that's with um, the Find His Keepers okay. album, uh, label, right. rather. Yeah. And that's Andy Vodcell, and he does retro kind of releases. He's already done one, Manchester Hair, which has got a lot of, <laughs> lot of Stockport bands yeah, on that, okay. you know, Stat Waddy and all the rest of it. Yeah. And uh, I got a track on that LP, he brought it out last year, but he, he wants to do um, a complete retro 1970s Spider King. Right, so you, your old stuff, oh. but re-recorded? No, not re-recording stuff. No. It's all the original yeah. recordings. Right, okay. a, with, um, with a few tracks, three or four tracks uh, produced by Laurie Latham, okay. who produced um, Ian Jury okay, and yeah, yeah. Um, Paul Young, London Paul Young, you know, wherever I lay my hat, yeah. Paul Young. So a great producer, but it's all from the 70s, right. mid-70s kind of stuff. Right, uh, there's also part of that project, there's a little uh, cassette going to be released which has got two original tracks with Martin Annett playing bass on it. Excellent. So it kind yeah. of comes full circle, yeah. funny enough. Yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, where can where people get in touch with you to, to find out what it is that you're up to? you got your social media up and... and yeah, I've got the Facebook site and yeah. got, there's a few videos on there with you know, sort of music videos and um, um, the, uh, the, the, the thing about it is that uh, I'm not very techno, I'm a bit techno fold, so I have to have people update me about what's been yeah. going on, who's been get, trying to get in touch with me yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. I haven't got Facebook friends, I haven't mean, yeah. got many friends really, but you know, <laughs> like, certainly not on Facebook anyway. You know, I mean, I'd like to, fa I like to face my friends, face yeah, to face, yeah. you know, yeah. this, this, this thing that hangs around in the ether, you never know who you're dealing it's with. Very, yeah, it's I very find, strange. I don't it know. Is but, but there is so, stuff out there, yeah. Spider Mike King, you can check that out and he'll refer That's you right. to load, yeah, Excellent. all over the show. <laughs> Mike, I really appreciate your time coming down here. Thank you very much indeed. That's fantastic. We'll do it again much sometime. obliged. Yeah, enjoyed it. Excellent. Cheers, man. Made in Stockport. Stockport. Pure 107.8 FM.